I think I might be better looking without my glasses, so uh, I spent a whole day without them. I get on the subway, I see a pretty girl, and uh, I look away and smell, so does she. <laughs> I think if this girl gets off of my stuff, I'm going to ask her out. I go to get up, she goes to get up, and I realize it's my reflection. <laughs> well, as I look like a 12 year old lesbian. Uh, you guys remember this little jingle? But the very best thing of all, there's a contract on this ball, so skip it, skip <laughs> If you don't remember, the skip it was a ball attached to a cord, attached to a fragile little child's ankle. It was the most dangerous game ever. The objective of the game was to not trip. Just came down a type of 79, 80. You couldn't even read the little counter, it was so covered in blood. What could be more dangerous than that? Here you go, Billy, it's a smoke it. Uh, the smoke to the vomit, I'll pound. Winner gets cancer. <laughs> Studied psychology in school. Anybody else not have a job? Mm -hmm. I don't even think I can be a psychologist though, because I watch too many Disney Channel movies. Uh, so I'm pretty sure like a schizophrenic person would come in and be like, I'm coming to the leprechaun. And I'd be like, oh my god, I've seen this one. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna get the girl with the big basketball game. You guys know what LGBT means? LGBT? I didn't know what it meant. It means lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Not straight, basically. It's a way of saying not straight. And I'm looking for an apartment, and this guy uh, that's uh, showing it to me is like, just so you know, I'm LGBT friendly. And I thought that meant he liked sandwiches with lettuce, bacon. <laughs> And he goes, just so you know, I'm LGBT friendly. And I go, mmm, tasty. <laughs> I want one in my mouth. Uh, my mom didn't uh, mean to have me, which is awesome, because uh, whenever I make a mistake, I can be like, whoa! <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here. I used to be a cashier before I was a comedian and uh, mess with people. That, this is, if you ever have a job in retail, it, it's horribly boring. So to make it more fun for myself, what I would do is just act very enthusiastic. So like a customer would come through my line and be like, Hey there, what's up? Go get up to see Renee! <laughs> and this one time, this lady realized I was being sarcastic, so she got really mad. She's like, where's your manager? Blah, 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 little bitch. Uh, so this is my hand, I was like, ma'am, 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 could you do my favorite picture? Could you, could you smile? Because you're our candy camera. <laughs> she was like, oh my god, really? <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> Paper plastic bitch. <laughs> Do you like mess with people? I was in Virginia, and uh, my friend got so drunk, he passed out. So I wrote out a note that said, in case my memory is erased, I am a time traveler. <laughs> Put it in his pocket. <laughs> Dropped him off in Colonial Williamsburg. During the Trojan Wars, the Greeks couldn't get inside the walls of Troy, so they built a large wooden horse jump down and made a slide of the Trojans. So the Trojans weren't very good at protection. That's that a horrible name for a country. Because the Trojan, you're basically saying, hey, something might slip through and kill you from the inside.